What if I don't feel like really studying and just want to read the Bible through? Well, my friend, I may have just the book for the job. <laughs> What is up, everyone? If you're new to the channel, Bible reviews every single week. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that. But either way, let's go ahead and get into it. Today's video is going to be on the CSB Reader's Bible. So this thing you can get on Lifeway for about $20 for a goatskin leather. Well, maybe not the most premium of goatskin leathers. It is a goatskin leather. It's actual leather for 20 bucks. Not bad, right? So let's go ahead and get on the desk and check this thing out. Actually, let me show you the back. So you see all the details. We're gonna talk about more in a moment. But let's get into it. All right, all right, all right. Here we are, Reader's Bible. It's a nice, hard two-piece box. Good and open this up. Now you'll see the brown leather. Let's take it out actually. Get a nice close up view. You will have perimeter stitching. See, it's a somewhat like marbled look, like some dark and lightish brown throughout, but mostly dark brown. The spine, you're going to have CSB, Holy Bible. Christian Standard Bible Holman with one, two, three like tooled lines. And it's all blind stamped, which looks really nice. I like when Bibles do that, it looks cool. It says goatskin leather here on the bottom of the back. Also blind stamped. You can have a golden gilding. Doesn't look the best, but on there, right? You can tell it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe it's the way I'm holding it, I'm not sure, but anyway, there it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this up. You're going to have a vinyl paste down here, brown. This is a Smith Sewn as well. You have a presentation page on the cardstock, title page. There's some like crinkling here. I don't know. On these first few pages, there's just, just like super crinkled. I don't know if it got moisture or if that has to do something with the construction. If you can see that, see it? Oh, there you go. You can really see it. But it's mostly just on these first few pages. There's your copyright information. Books of the Bible. And then on your next page, you're going to have an intro to the CSB Old Testament title page. And right after this, you begin. And there is your format, single column paragraph format. No verse numbers because it is a reader's Bible. So it's just straight text. You will see what book you're at in chapter at the bottom. And you're going to have blue accents for your book titles. And then you'll have drop letters for the where the chapters begin. But that's it. No, um, no, like section headings or anything like that. And then the bottom will tell you where you're at in the blue as well. This paper is very thin. Um, I would guess 28, probably 28. I was gonna say maybe 30, but I th I'm thinking, I think in 28. But you can see it looks good. The text. This is a 10 point font. But it is inconsistent, I will say that. So let's see, I think right here you can kind of tell, look at that. So see how this uh, top portion is lighter than this bottom portion. Still readable, uh, or legible, I should say, I don't know. But anyway, still looks good, <laughs> but um, it is inconsistent in the printing. So just kind of flip here, through here a little bit. Another thing to keep in mind is, I don't know whether it's static or the gilding, but you are going to have to flip through all these pages, which I have not done. I flipped through some, but so you can notice like how it's like crinkling and 
you really have to separate them. They, they are really stuck together. Sometimes you can't even feel the next page. You really have to kind of mess with it. But let's go ahead and look at your poetic setting. There we are. So we'll kind of flip through here a little bit. Oh, here's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> so that's how most of them always stuck together, see? Yeah. See, it'll be like every page, like, oh man. I know some people like to flip through this, but it's just going to take a while. You know you have to flip through all of them. I haven't had to unstick pages as much as this in any of the other Bibles that I've gotten personally. So yeah, so let's go ahead and go over to the New Testament. Here we are, New Testament. So um, you can see it's just black letter text. I'm not sure why they didn't do the blue for the, the Old Testament as well, since they have the blue accents for the dropped letters and the book titles, but the title pages are just black text. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you know, you would have thought maybe they would do that. I don't know. So yeah, here you go. You will see that it is completely black letter. I mean, obviously, aside from the accents, but words of Christ in black. Now we'll go to the back of the Bible. After Revelation, you will have, this is just one blank white sheet. And here are your maps. You'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. Usually right after this, I go back to the middle of the room to give my thoughts on it. I'm going to talk a little bit about this in comparison to the compact CSB I reviewed last week. A put a pop-up up here if you want to check that out right now. Actually, let me show you a sizing on this one too. I forgot to do that, my bad. So this is about five and three quarters wide by about nine and a half tall. Okay, and then let's grab the CSB Compact. Here it is. So here's the size difference. Just overall smaller. I mean, width almost the same, but still a little bit smaller. Personally, if I were looking for a reader's Bible, I would consider this one definitely. Although it is not a reader's Bible, like I said, you could watch the full review, but it is single column paragraph format. So you are going to have the verses in there, the chapter numbers, the section headings, right? But it is going to be a very comfortable style to just read. But this is 8.25 font as opposed to this 10 point font in the actual reader's Bible. So if you need a bigger text to comfortably read, this would definitely be a solid option. If you don't, watch my review on this one and consider it, although it is not real leather either. Um, Still, $5 for this, $20. Both great deals for these Bibles from Lifeway. All right, so go down to the comments right now. Give me your opinions on the CSB Reader's Bible. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and like this video if you've enjoyed it, if it helped you. And subscribe if you want to see more Bible reviews every single week, right? Thank you for watching today's video. So I basically already gave you my final thoughts on the desk, but yeah, I mean, a solid option for $20, you get a leather cover and a pretty nice reader's Bible. So check it out. I'll have a link in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.